do a crock pot sour cream chicken enchilada. Um, so I already placed four medium sized chicken breasts in my crock pot. Then I'm going to put in there two cups of this sour cream. I'm also going to put in there some of this green chili enchilada sauce. This is the 28 ounce size. So when this is all said and done, this is going to be a soupy mixture. So if you don't like soupy, you might want to adjust yours a little bit and put in maybe a little less enchilada sauce or a little less sour cream or a little less of both, whatever. But you just judge that on your own. I like it soupy because we put ours over um, cauliflower rice or spaghetti squash. And I like for the cauliflower rice and the spaghetti squash to really get those flavors in there and kind of be soupy as well. So, but you do that however you want. But that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use two cups of sour cream and then I'm gonna put in this entire 28 ounce can of enchilada sauce. or any seasonings to it it is seriously delicious just like that and honestly the enchilada sauce has sodium in it so that is perfect um but yeah i am going to throw the lid on there and i am going to let this cook i'm going to throw this puppy on low and let it cook for about six hours and bada boom bada bam that is about the easiest dinner you are possibly ever gonna okay, have so the next crock pot recipe that i want to share that is keto friendly is low carb taco soup so the ingredients that you're going to need for this is two pounds ground beef or pork or you can mix it you could do one pound beef one pound pork do whatever tickles your fancy um, but you're gonna need two pounds. Then you're gonna need two eight ounce packages of cream cheese. So you're gonna need two of those. And you're gonna need two 10 ounce cans of Rotel. Um, you're gonna need two of those. Then you're gonna need two tablespoons of taco seasoning. Um, you can definitely make the taco seasoning on your own, which is definitely more keto friendly. I'm just gonna use this for convenience reasons, so that's what I'm going to use. Then you're gonna need four cups of chicken broth. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is you are going to take your two pounds of whatever type of beef or sausage that you want to use, and you're gonna brown that and cook it in a skillet. So while we are browning that meat and cooking that in the skillet, I'm gonna put everything else in the crock pot here so that way um, we can start the crock pot process as well. and then I'm gonna throw my chicken broth on there. And then we are going to let this cook for four hours on low or two hours on high, depending on how quickly you guys are wanting to eat. finished product of the taco soup tell me that doesn't look delicious and it was ridiculously easy right, guys, so our third and final super ridiculously easy crock pot recipe is going to be a marinara mozzarella chicken 
So I put four medium to large chicken breasts in the crock pot. You're gonna need one can of this marinara sauce um, and then literally mozzarella. Like that is all I'm going to put in here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to cook this chicken on high with just the marinara sauce for anywhere between three and four hours. And I'm just gonna let that cook, let the chicken cook. And once that has cooked on high for three to four hours, then I'm going to add the mozzarella and then I'm just gonna kind of watch it. And once the mozzarella is um, melted, then it is good to go and ready to eat. That's how simple and easy this is. And let me tell you, it's delicious. It has been about two hours and 45 minutes. I am gonna go ahead and throw the mozzarella cheese in there. Um, I do wanna throw this out there. Um, so if you guys don't, cause it, see how it is a little bit runny. And I come from a family that isn't like a huge saucy type family. Even when they order their pizza and stuff, they ask for light sauce. So for me, Personally, they prefer it like this. If you don't like runny marinara sauce, then you might wanna cook your chicken for a little while first, then drain it, then add the marinara sauce and the cheese and all that good stuff. So just throwing that out there. But, but we personally don't mind the marinara sauce thin. So with that being said, I am going to throw the mozzarella cheese on there. And the this part literally put as much as you want, as much, or as little as you want. So we like a lot of cheese. So I'm gonna throw quite a bit of cheese in there. But like I said, you guys do it to your taste and what your family likes. And remember, it is gonna melt down some. So keep that in mind as well. So that's how much I'm gonna put in there. And then I'm just gonna throw the lid back on it and let it cook a little bit longer. And then once that cheese is nice and melted, you're good to go and pair it with whatever side that you like, veggies or whatever, and that is a great easy meal for you. So this is the finished product and let me just tell you, this is so delicious. Um, I don't shred it or anything. I just grab the whole chicken breast and make sure I get plenty of the cheese and some marinara on there and this is so good, but yet so simple. So I hope you guys enjoy this recipe.